it's fall and you need to blow some leaves off the line. Well, you may know how to use the blower, but do you know which blower is best for low noise? There are two things that you need to understand. Laws made for noise reductions are not for the user of the equipment. The laws are made to satisfy your neighbor across the street. They don't measure the noise from the arm's distance length. And usually the distance is measured at around 25 feet. So most blowers will be measured at around 60 to 75 decibel. And if you see here, 60 decibel is normal conversation. There is no blower that I can think of that you have in your hand that sounds like a normal conversation when you're using it. So this is not for your health people. It's for the health of the neighbors across the street and their convenience. So look at this video because you have to look out for yourself. Hello folks. Well, today you ever get up in the morning on a Saturday morning and say, hey, you know, I got all of these leaves out. I'm going to blow some leaves off the line. Um, that's kind of what we got here today. So I wanted to show you something, though, that you can use to blow the leaves. So I got a lot of leaves, but I'm going to do a little experiment today. What I'm going to do is I want to see just how loud these things are. How loud are these blowers? This particular blower right here. That this particular blower right here is, you know, battery operated. And then we got a little larger size one and then we got the backpack. Obviously, the backpack is going to be loud because it's huge. Now, I just showed you what the manufacturer said that their decibel rating was for those three things, and they were 60s to 74. Well, moderate is in the 60 level, which is, you know, a conversation. Loud is 70, which is traffic. If I get a result that's over 80, that is considered very loud and damaging. The other thing that I did was I made sure to set my tripod off at about three to three and a half feet because that's where most arm lengths are going to be right let's take a look at this and hopefully you can hear me the wind is blowing it's cold out now i have this little device here this is a sound meter and i'm hoping to get kind of a somewhat accurate reading i'm gonna turn this boy on as you can see right now with the regular wind and everything and me talking is giving me a reading of and I'm going to be quiet for a second. It's around 48 and then when I talk it gets louder. Let's see what happens when I turn these on. We're going to first start with the battery. So the battery is here and I'm going to set this up by my ear. Here we go. Up by my ear. I'm getting a reading of around 83. The closer I get, now we're up over 100. If I sit it on the ground, I'm about three feet away. It's saying that it is around 93 at the highest. Okay. Let's see what a gas one is. I'm holding this up by my ear. I'm getting a around an 89 so 
So, let's see on the ground. a difference um, let's get the backpack I'm gonna prime that puppy up a little bit Obviously the backpack is only about two feet away from your ear. So let's see. pretty loud now we'll lock it in place So that went up to 103. 103 is pretty loud. <laughs> I could tell you. Why did we just do that experiment? Well, there's a couple of reasons why we did that. I kind of wanted to see, you know, exactly how loud these things are. And you kind of, you know, you want to make a decision if you're going out buying a leaf blower. Hey, what's the best decision for me? Many of you probably already have a leaf blower. So then you may want to add to what you have. So we wanted to see, you know, what's the benefits? There's a lot of things that you may feel that are benefit, you know, when it comes to your hearing and that type of thing. But I don't think that's the true benefit because we all can go out and buy some ear protection and none of these will affect our ears. If you buy the ear protection, then what play what comes into play obviously you want to be you know conscious of your neighbors so if you want to start blowing the yard in the morning or early in the morning and you know Edna across the street just got in from third shift job she may want to get some sleep so you're you know you're making all of this noise you don't hear like you know it's not a big deal with you you have ear protection on but you're right under Edna's window and it doesn't have to be early in the morning. It could be in the evening, you know. Beatrice right here, she's about to go into work or she just got back from somewhere. She wants to just kick back and relax and watch her favorite show. And you have that thing going. You cannot try to take in, you know, what's good for, you know, 50 neighbors around you. The first thing is your own ear protection. The second thing is you want to be, you know, considerate of your neighbors conscious of whatever they're doing you know if you kind of know their schedule and how they go but the third thing is time and not time of the morning but how long it takes you to do something so here's a bunch of uh leaves let's look at all of these leaves here yeah ladies and gentlemen it's fall season it's definitely fall season we're talking about time here and I mean this DeWalt is a 20 volt you know it's a 20 volt DeWalt you know I got a 5 amp battery on it no big deal let's say that I have something going on really quick and I want to get started 
Yeah, the DeWalt blows the leaves. Looks like it blows some leaves about six feet. You're not gonna blow leaves too, too far, especially when it has dew on it first thing on in the weekend morning there, right? So let's try this. <laughs> Oh yeah, you see that ladies and gentlemen? This little handheld here, the BG55. This thing blows leaves far. So I can kind of step back a little bit on this stretch of grass here. You figure three, six, nine. So somewhere around nine feet away and it blows it up into the mulch bed where I want them because I want these leaves to just break down in this mulch over the winter so yeah that that's that's pretty impressive this is pretty quick I use this for the deck as well you can sit this up on the deck grab it blow stuff off in about 20 seconds let's get this big boy out All of my equipment I keep very, very well tuned. Oil change, spark plugs. So it is rare that my equipment has to take two or three starts to get going. So back to time. Let's say you have a lot of time, but you also have a lot of leaves. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna start here. Whoa! Woo -hoo! Look at that! Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you can get done a lot of leaves with this, buddy. Look at how far they're blowing. Almost too far. Oh yeah, dude. I just hit you with the obvious, right? I just hit you with the obvious. More horsepower, you know, better blow. Are you looking for time savings? Are you looking for lower volume, lower dBs, you know, decibels to, um, so your ears don't get messed up? I mean, what are you looking for? Understand too, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, these leaves are wet. You got morning dew. Let's go back here. All right. You see these leaves? This is going to be a great test. Watch this. So there you have it. I'm gonna get started blowing these off. But what I wanted you guys to see and I wanted you guys to realize one of the most important things out there is your health. If we have our ear protection on, we should be okay. I do realize that there are a lot of states right now that are enacting these noise pollution laws. So you may be required to get something with a battery. But many people may say, okay, now that I have this battery, I don't need to have any ear protection. As you can see from my results, you still need to have ear protection with your battery operated blower. There's no way around it. You need your ear protection. And I mean, I'm not saying every single time, but if you're gonna be blowing leaves continuously, you know, two hours at a time or every week or whatever, just get some ear protection, no big deal. They make all types of ear protection now. They make ear protection that has Bluetooth. You can listen to some music or something. The, the other part of this is, or maybe I just showed you that there is a good reason to have two or three like I have. Um, one for the deck and some quick cleanups. 
you know, in the garage, you can blow the dust off the garage floor. You can blow the dust off the deck. If you put in the springtime, when I'm doing my pots for planting soil, I make a mess. I grab the electric one real quick. It's gone. It's done. So there you have it. That's the line, Jenkins.